In the cheerful village of Sweet Vale, nestled between snowy mountains and sparkling rivers, lived four friends who loved adventures. There was Zoya, a bright girl with laughter like sunshine, Amir, a kind-hearted boy who always found fun, Leela, a clever girl who adored books, and Kofi, a brave boy who loved to explore. One frosty morning, as the frost painted the world white, they gathered under their favorite oak tree, dreaming of what to do that day. Let's go to the candy cane forest. Zoya exclaimed, her eyes twinkling with excitement. I've heard it's full of magical candy. Amir bounced on his toes. I want to see the candy canes. I heard they grow on trees. Leela smiled, remembering a story she read. The air there smells sweet, like peppermint. We must go. Kofi grinned, ready for the adventure. Then let's hurry. We can follow the sparkling river to get there. Hand in hand, they set off down the snowy path. The ground crunched under their boots, and the air was chilly but fresh. They sang silly songs, their laughter echoing in the peaceful woods. As they walked, they noticed the trees were bare, their branches shimmering with ice, like sparkling jewels. Soon, they reached the edge of a beautiful river. The water sparkled like diamonds under the sun, and tiny icicles hung from the branches above. The friends decided to take a short break and began tossing snowballs at each other, giggling and squealing with delight. After a fun-filled time, they continued on their journey. The path twisted and turned, leading them deeper into the forest. They could smell something sweet in the air, making their tummies rumble with hunger. I smell candy. Amir exclaimed, his nose twitching. We must be close. Suddenly, they saw a flash of red and white in the distance. As they got closer, their eyes widened in awe. The candy cane forest was even more magical than they had imagined. Tall trees were adorned with enormous candy canes hanging from their branches, swaying gently in the breeze. The ground was covered in soft, fluffy marshmallows, and colorful gumdrops dotted the landscape like tiny treasures. Look at all the candy. Leela squealed, her eyes sparkling. She picked up a gumdrop and popped it into her mouth, savoring the sweetness. Kofi, filled with excitement, raced ahead and pointed at a giant candy cane tree. I'm going to climb it, he shouted. Before they could say anything, he scampered up the tree, the candy canes rattling softly as he climbed. Be careful, Kofi. Zoya called out, her heart racing with worry. Kofi reached the top, feeling like a king among candy, and he waved down at his friends. Come on. It's amazing up here, he yelled, his face beaming with joy. One by one, the friends climbed the candy cane tree, perching on the sturdy branches. From up high, they could see the entire forest filled with sweet surprises, and they spotted a candy river flowing through the trees, glistening in the sunlight. Let's go to the river. Zoya suggested, her excitement bubbling over. They climbed down and hurried toward the candy river, where the water shimmered like liquid sugar. They dipped their fingers in, tasting the sweet flavor that danced on their tongues. This is the best adventure ever. Amir said, his face lighting up with happiness. They splashed in the water, giggling and playing as the sun began to set, painting the sky with pinks and oranges. While they were enjoying themselves, they noticed something sparkling under the water. Curious, 
They leaned closer and saw a small treasure chest nestled among the marshmallow rocks. Look! A treasure chest! Leela exclaimed, her heart racing with excitement. What do you think is inside? Let's find out. Kofi said, eager to see what was hidden inside. Together, they pulled the chest from the water, straining but managing to lift it onto the soft ground. With breathless anticipation, they opened the chest. Inside, they found colorful candies, shiny coins, and a scroll. Zoya carefully unfolded the scroll and read aloud, to the brave adventurers of the candy cane forest, you have discovered my treasure. Share it with your friends and spread joy throughout your village. Happy adventures! The friends looked at each other, their hearts swelling with happiness. They had found not just treasure but a message that reminded them of the joy of sharing. Let's take some candy back to Sweet Vale. Amir suggested, his eyes sparkling. We can share it with everyone. Yes. Let's spread the joy of the candy cane forest. Zoya agreed enthusiastically. With the treasure chest safely in their hands, they began their journey back home, chattering excitedly about all the stories they would tell and the treats they would share. The sun dipped lower in the sky, casting a warm glow over the forest as they made their way back. As they walked, they sang songs about candy and friendship, their laughter filling the crisp air. They promised each other to return to the candy cane forest for more adventures. When they finally reached Sweetvale, their friends and family gathered around, curious about their adventure. The four friends shared their story about the magical forest, the candy canes, and the treasure they had found. Everyone listened with wide eyes and happy smiles. Then, they opened the treasure chest and shared the colorful candies, passing them around like gifts. Children giggled, and adults smiled, savoring the sweet treats together. That night, as they sat around a warm fire, Zoya, Amir, Leela, and Kofi talked about their day. They shared how the candy cane forest had brought them closer together and reminded them of the importance of friendship and sharing. I can't wait for our next adventure. Kofi said, looking up at the stars twinkling above. Me too. Zoya replied, snuggling closer to the fire. Every adventure is better when we share it with our friends. As the night grew darker, they made a pact to always seek out new adventures together, wherever they might lead. And with that promise, they drifted off to sleep, dreaming of candy canes, gumdrops, and all the wonderful adventures that awaited them in the future. From that day on, the candy cane forest became a special place for the friends. They visited often, discovering new treats and surprises each time. They built snow forts, made candy sculptures, and even found a secret spot where rainbow-colored lollipops grew from the ground. Their village, Sweetvale, became known for its kindness and joy, all thanks to the treasure of the candy cane forest. People from nearby villages came to visit, eager to share in the sweetness of life. As the seasons changed, so did their adventures. In spring, they found blooming flowers that tasted like honey. In summer, they discovered a chocolate fountain hidden behind a waterfall. In autumn, they collected caramel apples from the trees. Each season brought new surprises, and with each adventure, their friendship grew stronger. One sunny afternoon, as they played in the forest, they stumbled upon a family of friendly animals, a rabbit named Nia, a wise owl named Covey, and a playful squirrel named Juma. The animals welcomed them warmly, and told them stories about the magic of the forest. 
you must be careful, Covey the Owl said, perched on a low branch. The forest holds many secrets, and it's important to respect them. The friends listened closely, eager to learn. Near the rabbit hopped excitedly. Let's explore together. I know all the best hiding spots. She squeaked. With their new friends, the adventures became even more thrilling. They discovered hidden caves filled with sparkling candies and secret paths that led to enchanted gardens. Every day was a new discovery, and they filled their days with laughter and joy. As winter approached again, the friends decided to host a festival in Sweetvale to celebrate the magic of the Candy Cane Forest. They invited everyone from the village and even the animals from the forest. Together, they decorated the village square with colorful lights and candy canes, turning it into a winter wonderland. On the day of the festival, the air was filled with laughter, music, and the sweet smell of treats. People danced, played games, and enjoyed delicious food. The friends shared stories about their adventures, and everyone listened with wonder. As the sun set, they gathered around a large bonfire, where Covey the Owl shared a special story about the candy cane forest and its magic. The children's eyes sparkled with excitement, and the adults smiled, reminiscing about their own childhood adventures. Remember, Covey said wisely, the real treasure is the friendship and joy we share with one another. The friends looked around at the happy faces and realized how true Covey's words were. They felt grateful for their adventures and the friends they had made along the way. As the festival continued, they danced under the twinkling stars, feeling the warmth of friendship wrap around them like a cozy blanket. The candy cane forest had brought them together, and they knew that together, they could face any adventure that came their way. From that day on, the friends of Sweetvale lived happily, creating memories that would last a lifetime. They cherished each moment, knowing that the magic of the candy cane forest would always be with them, in their hearts and in their stories. And so, the friends continued to explore, discovering new delights in their magical forest. Each visit brought something special, and their bond grew deeper with every adventure. They became known as the guardians of the candy cane forest, protecting its wonders and sharing its magic with everyone they met. As they shared their adventures, they inspired others to seek joy in their lives and to cherish the friends around them. And in doing so, the spirit of the candy cane forest spread far beyond Sweetvale, touching the hearts of everyone who heard their stories. One crisp morning, as snowflakes danced in the air, Zoya, Amir, Leela, Kofi, and their animal friends, set out for another adventure. This time, they decided to explore the farthest edge of the candy cane forest, a place they had never been before. With each step, they wondered what magical surprises awaited them. The path was lined with tall, candy cane trees, their stripes glistening in the sunlight. As they walked, they heard the joyful sounds of laughter and music. Intrigued, they followed the sounds until they stumbled upon a hidden clearing filled with cheerful animals and colorful decorations. What is this place? Leela asked, her eyes wide with curiosity. It looks like a party. Amir exclaimed, his excitement bubbling over. Mia the rabbit hopped forward, her ears twitching with delight. Welcome to the candy celebration. Every year, we gather to celebrate the magic of the forest and the joy of friendship. The friends couldn't believe their eyes. There were games to play, treats to eat, and happy animals dancing around. They joined in the festivities, laughing and playing with their new friends. 
Covey, perched on a branch, announced, let's have a contest. Who can build the tallest candy tower? The friends cheered, excited for the challenge. They raced to gather candy and marshmallows, working together to create the tallest tower they could. As they built, the air was filled with laughter and cheers. Kofi carefully placed a giant candy cane on top of their tower, and everyone held their breath, hoping it wouldn't topple over. With a triumphant shout, they finished, their tower standing tall and proud. Look at that tower! Nia explained. You've won the candy tower contest. The friends cheered, their faces beaming with pride. As a reward, they were given a bag of the sweetest candies from the celebration. Thank you! Zoya said, her heart full of joy. This has been the best day ever. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the clearing, the friends gathered with the animals around a big bonfire. They shared stories and treats, their laughter mingling with the crackling fire. Tonight, let's celebrate not just the candy, but the friendship we share, Covey said, his wise eyes shining. For it is the love and laughter we share that makes life sweet. With that, they all joined hands, feeling the warmth of friendship wrap around them. They made a promise to always cherish each other and the magical moments they shared. From that day forward, the candy celebration became an annual tradition, where friends from near and far came together to celebrate joy, friendship, and the wonders of the candy cane forest. The stories of Zoya, Amir, Leela, Kofi, and their animal friends, spread far and wide, inspiring others to seek out their own adventures and to celebrate the sweetness of life. As seasons changed and years passed, the friends remained close, their bond unbreakable. They continued to explore the candy cane forest, finding new surprises and delights, and every adventure brought them closer together. And so, in the heart of Sweet Vale, where laughter echoed and friendships bloomed, the magic of the candy cane forest lived on, forever bringing joy to all who believed in the wonder